welcome to Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you how to create a Christmas card with deco foil, silk microfine glitter and our clear double sided adhesive rolls. And of course the Merry Christmas from Away With Worth from Suzanne Cannon. So this is the card I'm going to show you. So it has that beautiful Merry Christmas on there. And that Merry Christmas is this die and of course because it's mirrored it's hard to see. But it's this die and of course you can use the Christmas by itself as well. So beautiful, beautiful die. And then I made another one just with different colors of Decafold. That's a rainbow and here's the like a turquoise glitter. Also gorgeous. And then this is the base card that I start with. So it's a white soft finish cardstock and I made four score lines. And because I know the camera probably will not catch it, I um, did this for you. So I did four score lines on a quarter of an inch from the side. But of course, if you want to be more playful and do it differently, you can do your score lines anywhere you want. So I did it on a quarter of an inch. And that's just to, as a guideline to put your tape down. It just helps. So this is that. So I'm going to start with my 10 millimeter tape. I'm going to put that along that score line. So I'm just going over a little bit and it's hard to see for me with the light as well. So just line it up and tear it and I do the same at the bottom. Line it up and tear it which is really easy and our uh, tape works beautiful with our silk microfine glitter of course as an adhesive but also with foils. And you can actually heat emboss on the tape as well. So now I have that down. Just going to make sure it's tight here. Then I'm going to take my tweezer. Kind of slide underneath there and take off the liner. I try not to touch it at the, at the corners because sometimes if you try to lift up your release sheet at the corner you lift up the tape and you don't want to do that. Then I have pieces of deco foil here, so I have two pieces of red and two pieces of gold. So I'm just going to stick that on here. Just rub it a bit. And then take it off. And, and I'm not worried if it doesn't pick up everywhere. I can either go back, but I don't need to because I'm going to use glitter on there as well. Because I like it, makes it a little bit more... I would say vintage, distress, however, but um, when you add some glitter to the parts where the deco fall doesn't pick up all the way. So that's my red. Then I'm going to take my 6 millimeter tape and I'm going to put those along the score line here. So that's the second layer I do. And again, tear that as well. Going to use that with the foil, same. And I like that little scissor. That's we have our own little scissors, which I adore. But for cutting the tape, these works really well. Okay, so rub it again. Make sure it's tight. Use our little tweezer. Kind of slide underneath there. And take it off. And then I have two pieces of gold foil. Just going to lay that down as well, rub it, take it off, and then this one, rub it, and take it off. And then I'm going to do another layer of tape, so the 6 millimeter in gold. And I line it up on the other side of the score line. So that score line really helps and of course I could go like with the tape there right now as well. But you can use that score line as a guideline as well. Press it down. And those are going to be glittered and why I glitter those, the glitter will also pick up on where that foil is. And that will also distress that foil a little bit. 
Here's my tweezer. So now I'm going to bring in the glitter and I'm using the light gold here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle that and I'm going to brush it off lightly, but I'm going to leave a little bit on that red as well because I want to rub that into that foil. So that will pick up on the parts that didn't pick up the foil to start with, but it will also rub it in the rest a little bit. So it gets rid of the really shiny part of that foil. See, so normally I would kind of clean this all up and make sure that I don't have any glitter there. But in this case, I want some glitter there. So use a coffee filter, of course. So this is the light gold I'm using. I think that's my favorite gold for me. Like the other one is more old looking, like this is really so polished. You see, so it will scratch that, the glitter will scratch that foil a little bit. And I love that look. So polish and sometimes what I do as well, if I think I want a little bit more glitter, I just take a little bit on my finger and just rub it in there. So that's another way to do that. And of course there's lots of different colors of glitter and there's lots of different colors of foil. So that's it. And then brush this off. So now I'm going to clean it up. Put this aside and then I have my Swiffer here that I can use. Oh. So, I forgot my glitter tray. So now I can adhere my Merry Christmas. And what I use for the Merry Christmas, I love this cardstock. So it's the metallic uh, cardstock from Tim Holtz. And it has like gold and silver in the pads. And it's like more like an antique looking, I don't know, it's not that shiny. So that's the silver and that's the gold. So what I did with the gold, I put our double sided adhesive on the back. A clear double sided adhesive. Then I took a piece and ran that through the die cutting machine. So that's this one. So this is the Merry Christmas with adhesive on the back. And as you can see, I already took some pieces out for you, but like to, but I left some in as well. So what happens is when you die cut this, it might cut all the way through. So if I, I can just punch this out, but sometimes with the smaller pieces, it might just stick in there and I just pick them up with my tweezer like this. See, and then so it did cut through the cardstock, and sometimes depending on the die, it doesn't cut all the way through the tape as well. So then you can, you see, and this actually cut really well. But if not, I can just pick them up with my tweezer. And I think I've got all the pieces. Let me check oh, one more small one here. Because I like to poke those pieces out before I lift up that Merry Christmas. Because if you do that when uh, the, the pieces are still in there, when you lift it up and it attaches to that or somehow you pick it up, you know, that's annoying. So I clean it up first and then I'm going to use the die. So just pick this up. And this is such a beautiful die. So this is from Suzanne Cannon, Away With Words. And those are gorgeous. So I'm just going to put that here, try to line it up nicely. Of course you could do it in an angle as well, if you want to. And here we have the Mary. And again, Suzanne has a lot of um, dyes that combine as well. So uh, you can do Mary with another word or um, you can do Christmas by itself. So you can really mix and match your dyes as well. So that's it. Oh, and I added a few glitter dots. Not forget the glitter dots. I love glitter dots. And in this case, I just put like one, like the largest one on the sheet, on the corners. But of course, if you want to add more glitter dots, feel free to do so. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to download the free project sheet and I've also suggested a couple of videos I think you'll enjoy as well. See you next time!